Welcome to Enola, Manitoba. We're here on another mulching project. This homeowner just bought this property a week ago and we're here to open up their brush and give them a little bit more usable space in their backyard. The approximate size of this property is four to five acres. Now the owners don't want to clear all of the property, but they would like to clear about an acre, acre and a half of the property. So I'm going to take you through the property and show you what it looks like before, during and after the process of forestry mulching. Here you can see Jason working his way through the property. He's clearing out a couple more of these trees and this is the process of shredding them up. This property was predominantly filled with poplar, some oak throughout, and a spruce tree here or there. The owners want to keep every single evergreen on the property, and they also want to keep the mature poplar and the mature oak trees. And believe it or not, the safest place to be when we're mulching is to the side of the mulcher. The keep back 400 feet is true. A lot of debris does fly out underneath the back of that machine. So definitely want to heed to the warnings on that machine. A lot of people want to know what's in the little red toolbox. Well, contrary to popular belief, it is not Jason's lunch. We actually keep a bunch of spare bolts and spare cutting teeth and a few wrenches in the toolbox. The reason being that way we don't have to drive the machine all the way through the bush back to the truck if we have to change a tooth or make a little minor quick repair. Now, if we have a little bit more of a major repair, then we'd obviously drive it back to the truck. We got a lot more tools, but for a couple spare teeth and a couple other spare fittings and stuff, just keep that in the little red toolbox. Another question that we get asked a lot is how large of a tree can we actually mulch with this machine? So this machine can handle 18 and 20 inch trees relatively easy. It'll take out an 18 inch wide evergreen in less than a minute and a half. So it can handle fairly large trees. Now we're not gonna handle four foot wide trees like you'd find in BC, but again, you usually find those trees in BC. We don't really have to worry about that here. Then for larger elm or oak trees, most of the time homeowners are gonna be keeping those trees and they're pretty far and few between. So we generally aren't mulching trees that are two and a half to three feet wide. For the rest of what you'll find in a bush, this mulcher can process it relatively easily. So rest assured, trees on your property can be mulched up. They're not going to be too big. A little side note, when you're doing forestry mulching, wearing high visibility clothing, pretty essential. Last thing you want to do is wear camouflage. There's a reason why hunters wear orange. And we encourage that all our staff wear high visibility as well. Before we finish the project, we always like to make sure to walk through with the property owner and make sure we got everything that they need or require of us. But once we're done that final walkthrough, you end up with results that look like this. <laughs> 